you can debug your program using the Integrate Debugger in Designer. We simply call it Debugger. The Debugger offers the following features. Execution of program in step-by-step -step mode to analyze values and variables and make sure the system evaluates complex expressions correctly. Search for errors in code. Analysis of program code. We can check how programs run on each step from end to end and check code logic. Frankly speaking, by clicking this button or pressing F5, we do not switch to the 1C Enterprise mode. We can do it only from the 1C Enterprise startup window. Instead, we go to the debugger. As an example, let us debug procedure before write. To see how the program can run in the step-by-step -step mode, we will check our event before write for document purchases. Press F5 to start debugging. To do a step-by-step -step analysis, we need to tell the program where to make pauses. For this purpose, we add breakpoints to the corresponding code lines. Here we have set four breakpoints. As soon as the system gets to the respective code line, it makes a pause to let us analyze the ongoing process. In order to be able to run this code, we need to write or save the document purchases. So we create a new document purchases and fill it with data. Then we click the button Save. After that, we immediately return to the designer mode. The point where debugger currently pauses the program run is marked with a yellow arrow. At this moment, we can view current values in our variables. Just drag the mouse over the respective variable. Still, it is much more convenient to use immediate window, debug, immediate window. To continue debugging, we can use F10 or F11. The difference between the two options is that if there is a procedure in the following line and you press F11, you step into this procedure. If you press F10, you step over the procedure and the system executes it immediately. Let us move to the next two lines and check values in tabsec line and tabsec line dot amount. Element tabsec line is not defined yet, so tabsec line dot amount is something that remains unknown as well. But should we take one more step? And now we see that the system has defined our variables by assigning specific values and types. And that is how we continue until we finish debugging and see the final result. We've reached the end of the procedure and want to continue debugging in the 1C Enterprise mode. Debug, continue debugging. And that is the moment when the system saves our document. Should we try to save our document again, the system makes a pause too because of the breakpoints. The other option you can use is Evaluate Expression, Shift F9, Debug, Evaluate Expression. Here we type an expression that we want to see. With the help of this option, we can view all attributes that apply to the variable that we select. 